There's so much stuff in here. It's, it's too so much. To pick it all. Mm -hmm. I mean, essentially, you should watch every movie in this closet, so. Oh, wait, wait, what about this one? You need to pick a David Cronenberg film for um, keeping things wild, and if you're wanting to take risks, remind yourself to do it. He's the person to um, make yourself trust your gut. And then you need to pick this one, because we're sisters. Oh, yeah, good. And this is also one of my favorite films about identity, shared identity. In a lonely <laughs> place. Um, if you're a fan of Humphrey Bogart, you will be surprised by this performance. It is very tense. It's incredible. And it is something that is thrilling from start to finish. And as well, it's impeccably made. So this is something to see. And I haven't seen it. So. And Kate hasn't seen it, so she will watch it and be very happy about I will it. say that Laura sees things first and then tells me to see them. So we could have done this whole closet thing with that theme. Shampoo. I picked this right away. I was like, oh, it's great that I first saw it because when Laura and I both went to Berkeley and when we were in school, there was one costume design class that we managed to figure out how to take somehow through the theater department just because there weren't a lot of classes there for things like that. And one of our first assignments was to, you know, pick a Shakespeare play, but then put it in a different context. And I remember um, that I said, okay, I forgot what, I actually forgot what the play was because I quit midway through, but the idea that I had was to do it as if it was all characters in shampoo, which was interesting because we did go on to do some costume design work with compassion designers, so I picked this movie. Oh, here's a good, this one's, you love this movie, Yeah, so. The Double Life of Barony. Mm -hmm. It's the, actually, I have, we have a great Criterion collection story. When we had our first show in 2000, 2005 we didn't really know what it meant to have a show and we called it the a fashion got in, show got in contact with someone at criteria and he said you know i think we have this collection and we're really inspired by devil life of veronique and we'd love to give out the dvd and they let us do that and it was really you know so i have a, a long history of connecting with this film and interesting again this goes along with if you want to watch this persona sisters three women, three women all about i think fractured identity yeah. great films to look at together and i would say that we actually really believed when we we're giving this film out this is the homework assignment to our audience <laughs> everyone's gonna watch it now 14 years later doing fashion shows i'm not sure if that's exactly what happened but um, i hope so it did speak to the fact maybe that, i mean i think we gave out fanny and alexander the extended with the real length version with it so well it did speak to how much we love movies yeah and wanted to share that with people these two together. Multiple maniacs and polyester. I'm the person that has too many drinks and I sit down and say to someone, we need to talk about how John Waters is really like one of the more important filmmakers of all time. And I have then my diatribe about why. I think he's just incredible. So <laughs> we're gonna pick an obvious one in the mood for love. I our obsession with Maggie Chung led us to Hong Kong at one point and we got to have, you know, spend five days with her. And we made her sign all of our DVDs. We carried them over um, to meet her. And she was just as wonderful as you could imagine. And her films with Wong Kar Wai um, were, I don't know, they were probably the most important films that we've watched in our lives. I think that all of his films should be in museums. They need to be the most celebrated films ever made. And he is wonderful. Well, this is just one that by all obvious points I should have seen this film. I know it's one of the great films ever made. Um, I know that when we did Black Swan, this was, when we were doing the uh, tutus and stuff for that movie, it was one of the things that, you know, clearly we should have watched. My sister has seen it millions of times and for whatever reasons I haven't. So I, I've now changed my mind. This will probably be the first one that I watch um, <laughs> that is, it is embarrassing that I haven't seen it because it doesn't really make sense when you piece together all the things that Laura and I do. But that being said, um, it's also sometimes amazing. I sometimes feel like you see things at the right point in your life. It's like when you go to a new place you've never been and you think, well, maybe I'm coming here now for a reason. So this is my movie for that.